This is the finale of the three parts video for the range of projectors within the ViewSonic family of gaming projectors. On the left, we have the LX700-4K and on the right, we have the X2-4K. Both of them are gaming projectors and one of them being the white one on the left is even having the Xbox logo on it. And with this video today, at the end of the last part of the video, we'll be doing the demo on the gaming portion. So do make sure that you watch the end of this video. Now the interface buttons of these two models are being located at the top, right? Now you see this one is right at the back, this one is more towards the front. And with this, you have a flap, a, pu a pushing sliding door over at the top to hide the buttons. So if you want to know more details of the buttons, you can always watch on the individual review of the projector and you can just look for our videos within our channel, which we do have individual review for each of them. Now let's look at the dimension comparison between the two of them. So in terms of the LX700, right, its dimension is 29. In terms of the width, 29 cm, all right, and this is 22 cm in terms of the depth. And in terms of the height, it is about 11 cm. Now, what about the other one? The other one, which is the X2, X2-4K, in terms of the length, we're talking about 36 cm, definitely much longer than the one that's on the left. And in terms of the height, it's 12 cm, 1 cm higher than the other one. And in terms of the depth, we are talking about 23.5 cm. Now, this is a quick overview on how the base look comparing to two of them, right? So over here, over here, you, you already seen the mounting holes over there. Now, if you want more detail about the mounting hole, how it's being mounted and are the legs being adjustable, is this part adjustable and so on and so forth, look at other of our video for individual one, individual projector. Now, the one that we are having on the left is the ViewSonic X2-4K. The one on the right is ViewSonic LX700-4K. Having the comparison on the left and right, now, the one on the left is running on LED. The one on the right for the light source is running on laser. Both of the display resolution is running on 4K resolution, which is 2160p. Then we come to the brightness. The brightness, the one on the left, is 2,900 NC lumens, whereas the one on the right is 3,500 lumens. Did you see the difference between the two? The lights are off. I'd like to hear from you from the comments below. Now, when it comes to the screen size, what we are having in front of us is projecting at 100 inch. According to specs, the screen size suitable for X2, the one on the left, is from 60 inch all the way to 120 inch. <laughs> and the one on the right is from 30 inch to 300 inch. And 300 inch is really big, right? Now, so talking about another thing is the throw ratio. The throw ratio for X2-4K on the left is 0 0.69 to 0 0.83, whereas the one for LX700 on the right is 1.06 to 1.45. Then we talk about a throw distance. Throw distance, the one on the left is 0 0.92 meter to 2.2 meter. The one on the right is 1 meter to 7 meter. Now, let's take a benchmark based on a 100 inch, which is what we are having right now in front of us. So, based on 100 inch, because there is a range focus on the zoom, so the minimum, minimum means the minimum distance that's away from the screen for the one on the left is 1.516 meter. And the one on the right, the minimum is 2.347 meter. So what I've just shared is based on the minimum based on a 100 inch screen. Now, what about based on the maximum? Meaning to say the maximum distance and yet you're still able to achieve a 100 inch screen. For the one on the left, will be 1.819 meter. 
The one on the right is 3.21 meter. Now we are doing a practical test of the throw distance based on a 100 inch screen. Now practical test means to say whatever numbers they have given to you just now is based on the theory. Theory that is actually stated within the manual of the ViewSonic projectors. So now we are having a practical test which means to say that we are having the projector over here with a measurement tool which is a laser measuring tool that is going towards the screen. So the practical measurement is 1.77 to achieve a 100 inch screen. I repeat this is for X2-4K. You need to have a minimum distance of 1.77 meter to achieve 100 inch screen. And this is a short throw projector. Now let's now look at LX700. So the practical test for LX700-4K, you're talking about 2.6 meter away from the 100 inch screen. Now let's take a look at the video comparing the two sets again, the one on the left and the one on the right. Which one do you think is brighter? Supposedly by specs, the one on the right is definitely brighter. And is it really brighter? I'd like to hear from you on the comments below. We have done a measurement test in terms of the NC lumens for each of the unit. Testing for the white lumens, the color lumens, and if you'd like to actually know more about the real in-house test of the lumens, whether does it really match what the specifications that's being stated by the manufacturer, I will, you would like to click on the link above to watch on the individual video of the X2-4K as well as LX700-4K. Now we are now doing a video comparison between the two sets of projectors by ViewSonic. Again, the one that is on the left is the X2-4K, the one on the right is the LX700-4K. Both of them is running on YouTube now on 4K resolution. Now, which one do you think it is brighter? Is it the one on the left or the one on the right? By specs, the one on the right is brighter. And if you really want to know the real NC lumen test of each and every one of the projector with our in-house testing numbers for each of the projector, do click on the link above and watch the individual video of each of the projector and we do a real measurement test for each of them. All right. Now, um, let's turn on the light and let's see how do they perform under the lights. Okay, so the lights are on, the lights are directly above them and this is the recording. Are they still watchable? I feel that they are still pretty well watchable even after under the lights. Next, we are going to do a sound test on each of every one of the projector. But before that, you would like to learn more about all these projectors and gadgets. That's the reason that you should like and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe now. Now let's adjust the speaker volume to almost the same at about 70% for each of the projector. Okay. Now, so let's test the sound quality from the first projector on the left and let's listen to it. Now the sound by the left projector is killed by common color. Now let's look at the built-in speaker on the other projector on the right. Now this one without doubt, the one on the left which is X2-4K 
with the Harman Kardon speaker is definitely way better. Now, this is the interesting part that I'm going to demo the gaming part. Whether this projector is really suitable for gaming. Now, they are gaming projectors, in fact, with the Xbox logo that is on it. But instead of showing using an Xbox game console, we are now showing with a PC. I'm sure that some of the PC gaming fans will be very interested to know how it works with the PC. So we have a game here. So this is the game setting within the software of the game and, and the laptop. So now we're using a TUF laptop, TUF, right, which is meant for gaming. So under the display of this game, we have set the resolution to 4K, 2160, right? And the graphics detail right at the bottom, we set to the highest, which is ultra. Right, so let's look at the refresh rate while, while we are playing the game. Let's maneuver. Now, the refresh rate is actually looking not bad, right? So let me go into the settings of a projector and display some information. Now, what is displaying over here is that, yes, the resolution is actually 4K and the ultra-fast input is actually on active. Every time when you plug in a gaming console device or a gaming laptop, it will prompt you this message. You want the ultra-fast to be active or inactive. We just select active. So now the laptop is being set to 4K what if we downgrade the resolution to only 1080, which is Full HD? So let's try to download, to downgrade it to 1080. Yep, this one. All right, let's continue to play the game and see what is the information that's being shown on the projector settings. Okay, now let's show again. The projector is still remaining as a resolution of a 4K of 2160 at 60 Hz. Right? It did not upgrade the refresh rate to a faster refresh rate. And but the ultra fast input is still enabled and it's very fast. Now let's look at the settings. Is there any way that we can manually set the projector to say Having be able to control control a better refresh rate. HDMI settings, octo, RGB. No, it's still on octo. Even this one we set it to octo. Okay. What other settings can we can we move on? Unfortunately, everything is on octo mode. There is no one single settings that I'm able to actually set on the refresh rate over here. So going back to the information that's being provided, it is still displaying on a resolution of 4K at 60 Hz with ultra fast input active. So now let's test on the other one. Okay, now we are on the same display mode, but now connected to the LX700X-4K. So the graphics of the game is being set to the 4K mode and then graphics detail at ultra. And over at the computer, we have also done one more step to ensure that the output from the H HDMI, from a graphics card to the HDMI port is displaying at 240 hertz. So let's play the game now and see what happens now. Now I go back and I display the information. Same thing as the X2-4K. Over at this LX700-4K, it is still displaying a resolution of 4K together with the refresh rate at 60 Hz. So what about we down the resolution of the display to 1080p? 
Okay, now it's one zero zero. Let's see. Unfortunately, the resolution is still at 4K and the refresh rate is still at 60 Hz. Now, let me just go to the menu settings. And now you can see that the ultra fast input is active. The image settings, looking at here, you see it is on display mode. The display mode is on gaming mode, right? There's no settings that I'm able to set with a faster refresh rate, not even under the settings of the options. So the next one, which is the fourth tab on the left, it just is just an information page. There is no settings that I can do about it. So the refresh rate is still remain at 60. Even I downgrade the resolution to 1080B. 8180P. So let me do a side-by-side -side comparison on the two gaming of the two projectors side-by-side -side and you witness the, the gameplay and let me know which one you feel that is better for gaming. I would like to hear from you. Comment below. If you'd like to be updated with the latest home theatre gadgets, including projectors, home theatre system and audio system, that's the reason you subscribe to our channel and do share our video to, in order for us to boost the YouTube algorithm as this will only encourage us to do more of this video for you. Now, we have shown you so much facts about all this video from the comparison in terms of some of the specs and data to the measuring and the throw distance for the 100 inch screen to achieve 100 inch screen together with the gaming gaming presentation that we have actually done for you which one do you prefer i'd like to hear from you do you prefer the brightness from the lx 700 4k or do you prefer more of this x2 4k perhaps you like black better than white or white better than black perhaps that may be your choice, but I would like to hear from you. With this, I thank you for watching again.